Hi, I'm Ray Kipnis. I've been in the transmission business for over 20 years, and I've seen it all. I know how extra charges can be added to your bill, and I know how people who don't understand what's involved with transmission repairs can be taken advantage of and spend a lot more money than they should. I know the horror stories, how a man with a Ford Tempo paid $1,700 for transmission repairs when he could have had the same repairs done at my shop for $699. But most important, I know how to save you money by making sure these things don't happen to you. And I know the secrets of the trade. And in the next 20 minutes, you're going to learn them too. It doesn't matter if you're a teenager, senior citizen, or somewhere in between. It doesn't matter if you think you know a lot about cars or you don't know what a dipstick is. It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. And I know that many women feel that the decks are stacked against them as soon as they walk into a transmission center. But get ready, because now you're going to find out the right questions to ask beforehand. You'll find out the right places to go to have the work done for the least amount of money. Places that will discount to you because of what you're going to learn in this tape. And you'll find out how not to get taken advantage of when it comes to one of the most expensive areas of auto repairs. Listen now as we take you through the specific steps to follow. If you think your car has transmission problems and you want to save hundreds of dollars in repairs, Thanks, Ray. You think your car is having transmission problems. You want the best price and the longest warranty and no surprises. So, first, talk to friends, relatives, and co-workers about transmission centers they've gone to. Which ones would they recommend? And just as important, which ones would they tell you to stay away from? And be careful. Make sure you're all talking about transmission centers. A transmission center works primarily on automatic and standard transmissions. Most general repair shops and service stations do not repair transmissions. But in order to profit from this very lucrative aspect of automotive repairs, they'll drive or tow your car to a transmission center and have the work done there. Then the general repair shop will charge you the price that they paid the transmission center to do the work, plus charge you a markup of $100 to $300 over that amount. That's their profit for getting someone else to do the work. So. You want to deal with the transmission center directly to avoid paying that inflated rate. Next, look in the yellow pages. Let your fingers walk to the transmission repair section of the book. Look at the ads very carefully. What you're looking for are ads stating that they have discount prices, that they won't be undersold, or that they're the least expensive in the area. To sum it up, look for signs in the advertisement that these centers are underselling the competition. Write down the names and phone numbers of these places. And check to see if any of these transmission centers are on the recommended list given to you by family or friends. Put a star next to those recommended transmission centers. They've now jumped to the top of your list. It's almost time to start shopping for price, but first, you should have some information about your car. Determine the type of transmission you have. All that you really need to know is, are you driving a car with an automatic transmission, or a car with a standard transmission? And does your car have front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, or four wheel drive? You'll also have to give the transmission specialist the following information. The year, the make, the model of the car, and is it a three speed automatic or overdrive, which is four speed? If you're not sure that your car has an overdrive transmission, there are a few ways to find out. Some cars may have the letter D or double Ds enclosed in a square or a circle or there could be an electronic button on the shifter console that will move your car into overdrive. If you're still not sure, look in the owner's manual or call a dealership that sells the model car that you drive, or discuss it with the transmission specialist. Yes, it's time now to make contact with the transmission centers. You now have two choices, call around or drive around, if your car can be driven. First, we'll deal with automatic transmissions. To get the most accurate diagnosis for your car, you need to drive it to a transmission center for a road test. There should be no charge for this service. If after road testing your car, it's determined that a major repair is necessary, you can go ahead and talk money. Ask them for a price that will include the torque converter, fluid, and all hard parts, plus the warranty, and get the price in writing. Under no circumstances, should you allow them to charge you an inspection fee or a teardown fee before they'll quote you a price for the repairs. Now that you've gotten a written estimate, 
thank them for their time, get in your car, and drive down the street to the next transmission center for another diagnosis. Again, get the price in writing and be sure that the torque converter, fluid, and hard parts are all included along with the warranty. So far, I've only talked about cars that can still be driven. But what if your transmission is too far gone? You can't move it a foot, much less drive it to a transmission center. You'll have to use the phone, but your options are still wide open for shopping the best price. The transmission specialist will ask you for the information that we've covered, namely the make, model, year, and type of transmission that you have. He'll also ask you to describe the problem that you've been having with your transmission. If your car won't move, most likely you're facing a major transmission repair, but there are some exceptions. The first step to check is the transmission fluid level. If it's low by more than a quart, fill it to the proper level and see if that solves the problem. If not, for a rear wheel drive car, a broken rear differential or rear axle or a universal joint on the drive shaft could prevent your car from moving. Also, if the transmission linkage rod disconnects or the transmission shifter cable is bad or broken, your car won't shift into gear, which means it won't move. Or there are unusual circumstances when the flywheel can break or the flywheel bolts might break off, which would also immobilize the car. However, out of all of these, only the replacement or rebuilding of the rear differential could be considered a costly repair. On a front-wheel drive automobile, damage to the drive axles or manual shift cable can immobilize the car. And just like the rear-wheel drive car, a broken flywheel or flywheel bolts will prevent the car from moving. You'll still need to be towed for repairs for any of these potential problems, but none of these will be as costly as rebuilding your transmission. Many transmission centers will try to persuade you to tow your car to them by assuring you that the repair will be minor or a matter of a small adjustment. Never allow your car to be towed in just so they can take apart the transmission to inspect it for damages. There's always a fee of $125 to $500 for this service. They'll tell you that the fee will go towards the final bill, but you're losing all your negotiating capability because they've got your transmission in their shop in a hundred pieces and haven't given you a price yet. And it's probably not the best price, but you're stuck. So, let's review. You've called your list of transmission centers, you've given them the necessary information about your car, you've described the problems that you've been having, and the transmission specialist is sure it's a major repair that will require your transmission to be rebuilt. Now, you can start shopping for the best price. Remember, asking the right questions will keep you in control and allow you to get the lowest price. You need to ask the transmission center if they quote the total for repairs over the telephone. If the answer is yes, make sure that there's no hidden cost. Make sure their price includes the torque converter, fluid, the case, and most important, all hard parts.